guys. Let's do this, beautiful people of the Instagram. I'm gonna go ship some artwork. I got some uh, paintings here. I gotta go ship some small paintings. And I gotta go get some white paint too, because I'm out of white paint. Man, this move, this move to, to the new warehouse is, is taking a little bit of adjustment. A little bit of adjustment. But you know what? We gotta do it. Gotta do it. Hey guys, so we just we just recorded Thursday Cafecito, my wife and I. We just did a little we, we were live on Thursday Cafecito and check it out after this and enjoy it. Um I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what Bill Gates said. He said real artistship. Real artistship. What does that mean, real artistship? It took me a little while to understand it. I heard uh, what's what's his name, Seth Godin, talk about it. I saw a video somewhere. I, I don't know if it was YouTube or somewhere, uh, uh, or an audio, uh, audio, an audio book, an audible somewhere. And Seth Godin said that Bill Gates, not Bill Gates, that that uh, what's his name, uh, oh my God, I forgot the Apple guy, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs had said, "Real artistship." When I finally understood what this what this thing was, it made all the sense in the world. The real artists finish things. Real artists get things done. When I when I understood that, I was like, "Ah, I see what this guy's talking about." You see, we get tempted. We get tempted on working on things, to working on things. It is the killer to work on something. Next time you go into any endeavor, you, you try not to go at it with uh, the mind, the mindset of working on it. It's uh, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know who, where it come, where it comes from. It's probably, it's probably family. It's probably society. I mean, who else, right? But. When we go work on something, we elongate, right, the process. We, we, we make sure that it, that, that we, see, because we enjoy the process. There's a lot of people that are like, I enjoy the process. Then get yourself a hobby, but, but, but don't try to make your career this enjoyable process. Like, enjoy it, enjoy it, but don't try to make it a process. You see what I mean? You will enjoy it if you finish it. If you if you make it a process and never finish it, and never finish the task, let's say that you want to paint your house, right? You're like, I'm going to go paint my house. And you're like, oh my God, I love working on this project. So you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and you, you buy the paint and you buy the rollers, and you're like, yeah, I love this because it makes me feel good. Do you know what, what it is that makes you feel good? It's the fact that you pulled the trigger and actually went and did it. Went and, and, and made made the first step to go get the things, to go get the stuff ready to paint your house. Because you've been thinking about it or talking about it for years, maybe. I don't know. So you finally went and did it and it feels good. But you get mind tricked into thinking that you're enjoying the process. What you what we love as human beings is finishing cycles. We love finishing cycles. Because we love we love creation, we love experience, right? So we love finishing cycles. Like, oh, okay, I'm gonna paint the house. You paint the house, and then and then something else sparks, right? And you're like, oh my god, I wanted to work on my furniture now. And then you work on the furniture, and you're like, oh my god, I wanted to clean my garage. And then now you go clean the garage, and you love finishing cycles. It makes you feel good. It makes people. It makes it makes you feel capable, accomplished. Like, you can do anything you set your mind to. But if you go and you're like, I'm going to go paint the house. You go to Home Depot, you buy the paint, and you start a wall, and you're not sure what color to use, and then you get all complicated about the fucking colors in the wall, and then you only leave patches on your wall and never really finish the task, it makes you feel horrible. Days go by, weeks go by, months go by, and the task never got finished. 
and it makes it makes you feel like like you can't do anything like you're not you're no good it's not true it's just that you didn't finish the task so as an artist what can we learn from this this whole finishing tasks things look guys you're gonna go put something on Facebook finish the task don't don't put something on Facebook and then be like, oh, okay, well that's nice. I'm gonna put a little photograph of there. Finish the task. Go talk to people. Go make it a thing that you are that, that that at the end of them of, of that task, it moves it, it it propels you to another one. See, I believe that energy is, is, is energy is very much like oxygen and a fire. You want the fire. You want the flame to be bigger. Put more oxygen there, right? Make sure that it has more oxygen. It keeps it alive. Put more wood in there. Same thing with energy. You want to keep doing things. You want to finish cycles. You got to move from one cycle to another. You can't sit on a cycle. I'll bring you guys with me. Into the... Into the... Post office. You gotta be able to finish cycles because because it, it creates energy. It, it it prompts you to a new to a new thing. For example, if if I wasn't shipping this right now, this this three boxes of paintings, if I wasn't shipping this right now, and I would leave it for later, it would be in in, in my head. It would be in the top of my head. But now now I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go ship this, and then I'm gonna go do something else, and then I'm gonna go do something else. I'm going to become extremely productive, right? This is what goes through my mind. I'm going to become extremely productive because, because you're moving from cycle to cycle. This is, why, this is why Einstein said the only way to keep balance in life, right? The way to keep balance in life is like riding a bicycle. You got to keep moving, you got to keep moving from one cycle to the next. Now, there's people that are busy on being busy, right? But I know why. One, they're not focused. And two, they don't finish cycles. So you could be busy all week on something. You're like, oh, my God, I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint my house, right? You go, you choose the color, you go back, you're like, oh my God, what color is going to be the baseboard now? Oh my God. Like they're, they're, the cycles are not finished, but you could be busy the whole damn year on it, you know? And if, and if someone were to, and if someone like me were to tell you, dude, paint the house, why haven't you painted the house? You know, it'll make you feel better. You can move to, to the next thing. You would be like, oh my God, it's so easy. It's easy for you to say that. It's, you know, it's easier said than done. But really, I mean, there's so many little things. I mean, just ask anyone. Most people have their, head up, their, heads, their heads up their butt, you know? And I'm not trying to be mean about it, but just ask anyone to do something and they'll, they'll meticulously work on something. They'll be like, it, it, it involves so much. There's so many little things involved. And you're like, okay. Yeah, but but why 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 is why is it so many little things involved? Why can't I just be like go get the paint, go get a brush, some rollers? Why why can't you just go inside the store, you know, and take care of it like that? Why can't why can't you just go inside the store and tell yourself, all right, I got ten minutes to go get all of this, all of everything that I need. Go right, or I got five minutes to write a list of everything that I need. Go, and then you get to the store. You're like, I got ten minutes to get everything that I need. Go, run, make it a game, make it fun, make it like a game. Like, okay, go, 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 go. You grab everything. You get home, and you're like, okay, I got one hour, because you can't spend all day doing it, right? Listen to what I'm telling you guys. I got one hour to paint as much as I can. I got one hour to paint as much as I can, or I got two hours to finish this room. I'm gonna paint this room and I got two hours to do it. You make it a game. You go hard on it. You go fast. I got five minutes to call friends and family to come help me. I don't know, why not? 
I'll, I'll cook dinner for you guys. I got I got five minutes to call everyone that I can to come and help me. Maybe no one will. I don't know. But make it a game. Make it quick. Most people don't function like this. Most people most people are, are get lost in the minutia. And this is what happens to a lot of us as artists. We get lost in the minutia. There's like, oh my God, it's all, all these little things. I'm going to write a post on... on I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a post on, on on Facebook, but I need to I need to sound eloquent. I need to sound smart. I need no. You know what you need? You need to write the post. You don't need to sound eloquent. You don't need to sound smart. You don't need to please anybody. Anybody. You'll get to that point. You'll get to learning what people like to see on Facebook and on and on. You don't need none of that. You just need to write the damn post. You need to get there. You need to get in front of people. You need to play the game. Most of us don't know how to do this. And I believe that this is the reason why we don't get things done. We get trapped in the minutia. There's so much minutia. There's so much bullshit, right? Like it's like it's like I gotta take the photograph, but the lighting is off. The colors aren't true to my painting, and on and on and on and on. And it's like, dude, no. Get your phone, take the fucking picture, and put it on Facebook. Simple. Say something, something about it. I finished this painting today. I love the red I used on this painting. I, I don't know, whatever, and just put it there. And then move on to the next thing. Go get yourself a LinkedIn account. Twitter account. Something like that, guys. Sorry about that. But you you want to go and and move into 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 especially areas that are chancy that are risky that you're like oh my god i don't know should i do this should i see it'll it'll keep you moving it'll keep you moving most people don't get stuff done because we, we're not moving we don't stay in movement we don't finish cycles We're trying to get stuff done with the least amount of effort. That's a huge problem. That's a huge miss. Don't try to get stuff done with the least amount of effort. It's like almost, it's, it's, it's like not trying. Try to get stuff done with a lot of effort in a very short period of time with less thinking. The less you think about something, when you're going to work on something, the less you think about it, this is my humble opinion, the less you think about it, the the faster you'll get it done and the better it will be for you. Now this does not mean to simplify that there's some things that you that you need to search and, 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 and take care of, whatever, whatever it is, right? But once you're doing it, for example, I'm gonna give you an example. You're looking for a theme, right? You're looking for a theme to paint. You're like, I don't have I don't have a, a, a inspiration for my next paintings or whatever, right? And you're like, oh, what should I paint and blah, blah, blah. And then you're looking for a theme and you're like, oh, you're looking around the house and maybe you go online to get ideas and to get to get fresh, right? And, 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 and you spend all this time doing that because you're looking for the perfect theme. And, and my suggestion is you, you, you go online or you look at something and you're like, oh, I'm gonna paint something that looks like that. Something that looks like this. I, I'm going to go right into it. Oh, yeah, but it's not. I don't, I don't know about the colors. Bullshit. Whatever the colors. I saw this really cool tree that I really love. I love the way this tree looks. Boom. I'm painting that. The faster you move into it, the faster, the better it will be. The faster you move into it. This is a very, this is a very common mistake artists make. They think that if they think about stuff, the more, the more they think about stuff, the better the art will be. And it's not true. Actually, the less you think about it and the quicker you move into it, the best your art is going to come out. That's my belief anyways. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.